Hey guys, thanks for hitting the play button. Interesting fact, in the middle of the 50s, 1955 actually, Eisenhower was the president here in the US and he had a massive heart attack. And what happened at that moment has changed everything in today's climate. So once he had that heart attack, Ansel Keys, who was doing research at the time, decided to do what's called the seven country study. And this study concluded that fat contributed to that heart disease, contributed to all sorts of cardiovascular issues. And therefore we all needed to stop eating fat in this country. And that was a totally foreign concept to the way Americans were eating at that time. So America went from consuming tons of fat to being told we can't eat the fat and everything became low fat and no fat. And what happened from that moment is the whole food industry said, oh my God, what are we gonna do? But now that fat wasn't in the food, they had to find an alternative. Sugar then became the main staple in America's diet. Today, people eat 22 teaspoons of sugar every single day. And what's happening is all of that sugar is coming in through hidden forms. Fat was always considered a four letter word. Now look, there are lots of different types of fat and we're gonna talk about that a little bit more. You can check out in the description for videos specifically on that. But let's talk about why fat is so good and why I am totally obsessed with it and why you should be too. Our brain loves fat. In fact, it is its absolute preferred fuel. When you feed your brain fat, it works better, it runs faster, you're smarter, you're more alert, you get rid of the fogginess, and you get an improved sense of well being. Our heart loves fat. It's also the heart's preferred fuel. You may have never known that before. When you feed your heart fat, you're giving it its preferred fuel, you're allowing it to run optimally. So we know that our heart works so hard, it's the hardest working organ. And when you feed it its preferred fuel, it works harder and better and more effectively for you without all of the negative side effects of sugar glucose. When we burn fat for fuel, we actually have the opportunity to burn our own body fat for fuel. So what does that mean? Our metabolism works better, we lose weight, we can lose that belly fat, and we have so much more energy from burning a clean source of fuel. Our skin does so well with fat. As we age, our skin starts to get dry. When we consume enough good fats, it actually helps to keep our skin youthful, glowing, and beautiful. When you consume enough fat, you're making more progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, all coming from the cholesterol. And a lot of interesting facts about testosterone, especially for women, as our testosterone levels decline as we age, what actually is happening is we may feel joint pain, we may feel a bit of fogginess, confusion, fatigue, that's all from low levels of testosterone. So get your fat into your day and let it really increase these important hormones in your body. Fat makes you an energizer bunny and it gives you that sustained energy all day long. Fat helps you to absorb your nutrients better. So fat makes up the lipid bilayer of every single cell. And so you want to nourish your body so that you can absorb the foods, the nutrients, the supplements that you're taking on a daily basis. Fat gets rid of your cravings. And I can tell you from personal experience, those cravings controlled me. It didn't matter where I was at 4 p.m. in the afternoon, I had to have a sugar fix. And when you start to consume enough fat, your body literally releases those cravings. Fat makes you a body fat burner versus a sugar burner. Just think of it this way. You have the option to either be burning your own body fat that may have accumulated in parts of your body that you don't wanna show, or you could be a sugar burner. You can become a body fat burner just by consuming fat, which means that you're literally burning the fat that's on your body as a source of energy. I'm sure you've heard, like all of us, that if you wanna lose weight, you have to consume less fat and less sugar. Well, the fact is, 
you wanna keep consuming your fat to lose weight and you wanna get rid of the sugar. Almost 20% of our calories are coming in from sugar and for our kids, it's almost 15% of their calories. So just think about that. Sugar feeds cancer, it causes obesity, which creates insulin resistance, which in turn can lead to diabetes. Sugar contributes to a leaky gut, and when our gut leaks, our entire microbiome is compromised. And when we have a compromised microbiome, our immune system goes way down because 90% of our immune system is in our microbiome. And just think about how many days you may be sick a year, and it can all be because of sugar. Sugar leads to the aging process. It ages our skin. It brings our energy down. It puts us on that hamster wheel where we're always looking for more because we're addicted to it. It acts like cocaine in our body. And there's more and more research pointing to that. In fact, when you get off of sugar, you have to go through a whole detox process to release it out of your body. Sugar is the enemy. Lots of your sugar may not just be coming from the little packets at the coffee shop, they could be coming from all sorts of hidden sources and not all fats are good for you. So click the subscribe button to get more videos on what types of fats you should be eating and what kind of alternatives you can have for those sweeteners.